All right, I'm filming. Okay. Some eye candy to start it off. I really want to touch it. All right, hold on. <laughs> Guys, whenever you're watching this, this may as well be live, okay? I just got this knife less than three hours ago. Frankie, get your hands back. Yeah. Mm. All right, I just got this knife less than three hours ago, all right? You saw the title of the video. It's the Vanguard Sheepdog, the mini. Oh, it's so cute. The much-anticipated mini that is not even in stores. I haven't even gotten to touch it or flip it yet. Not yet. All right, Frankie just got home. Mm -hmm. It's not even in stores yet, okay? This thing it's is so awesome. so cute. All right, I posted to Instagram without you even seeing it first. I know. I was Check busy working out. all day. I, I, got, I got home before you did. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I just love it. Frankie gets to touch it for the first time. Do so I get you're to touch it? Basically, this video is just first impressions. Yes. Okay. Well, okay, and first impressions, even though I haven't even touched it yet, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. Let's take a look at that, okay? This is the full size bladesmith version, all right? There it is. It is a little bit smaller than I expected it to be, and I mean that in a very good way. It's it awesome. It is just so absolutely cute. Let's check it over here. Can I touch him? And of course, this one is a liner. What, Frankie, you want to touch this? Knife? Yes, I really, really want to. All right, Can there I? There you go, finally. Oh, it's so cute. So it is smaller than you expected. Yes, it's way smaller. I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it's smaller than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, this is just made for me. Now, you've always liked the Sheepdog, but it's but just it's a, way too big for it's me. It's a big knife. It's a big knife, right? Oh my gosh, I just, it's so perfect. Look at it in my hand. It is perfect for your hands. Um, you got all four fingers on there? Yeah. All right, let's show this real quick. For me, this is like the Glock 26 or the Glock 27, if you've heard that reference before. Mm -hmm. It's a good three finger grip and the pinky just kind of does whatever. Or I can just cramp up like so, or I can choke way up on the blade. This type of blade, it's easy to to choke up uh, and adjust your, your finger position like so. But yeah, for Frankie's hands, for Frankie's small hands. It just got windy. It is a little windy. It just fits. Guys, we're out in the woods, but not really. What I really like about it too. Yeah. Is get back over here. I'm, look at my I'm knife. I'm showing them where we're at, yeah. Okay, so look at how it fits in my hand perfectly. Like, look at this finger goes right in there. And it makes it so I can, I could really choke up on it if I wanted to. It just, it looks like it's supposed to just be my knife. Absolutely. Here's what I'm thinking about this knife, okay? And this is, uh, depending on when you're watching this, they may be available, they may be all sold out. Mm -hmm. Or if you're watching this uh, upon release, you can't even get them yet, all right? But here's what I'm thinking, guys. Oh. Girlfriends and wives, never mind for guys as a backup knife or just as a, as a minimal gentleman type carry. Mm -hmm. it, this is all of that, all right? Um, but guys... Get one for your wife or girlfriend. Wives and girlfriends, all right? This is a this is basically a full on serious yeah. knife, just scaled down a little bit. Uh -huh. You know, it's and it's awesome. It's oh my so gosh. cool. It's so cool. Yeah. Uh, they, they also have them in green right now. And blue. Do they have them in blue? Yeah, they come in a blue. It's brighter than like it's like a bright like royal blue. Okay, I've not seen that yet. Yeah. Or maybe I have. I just forgot. Is it like the bag letter blue? I think it's even brighter than that. Okay. I think. All right. It's what it looked like, but you know, of course in video it's always hard to see. Well, whatever colors they're gonna do, I imagine, our prediction is, and we've told Kaiser this for a while, this knife would just be a huge hit. Yeah, it's gonna be killer. We've we've said it for um, two years now, actually. This this knife's been out for just right about two years. Yeah. We've said it since well, then, a mini version. Well, and it's always like his and hers. It's perfect. You get the big sheep dog, I get the baby sheep dog. Oh yeah, yeah. Sheepdog knives we're talking I want to say see guys this this video. We're not super prepared This isn't like the official review review. No, this is my seriously first impression of I want to say he's somewhere in the Midwest sheepdog knives is yeah. Chris Conway Conway mm -hmm. I think yeah, yeah, and it's only right hand is it good sheepdogs only come in right hand Let's let's compare the clip style. Let me see that. It's a oh, It's very similar yeah. It's just a little bit more minimal. Um, I, I can't wait for the titanium version of this. They're going to do, we think, right? Yeah. They're going to do a titanium version of 
the the mini mm -hmm. right yes yes well i've seen pictures of it with like the damascus which i would love oh jeez. okay frankie's a little bit more up on this one than <laughs> i am i want it there's the centering is there any blade play no none okay and the skeletonized in there with the liners is it let me see that yeah not that side, but the other side. The other side is skeletonized a little bit. And flow through. We need to tell people how much this costs. Oh yes. So well, the pre-order is up right now. The pre-order is active on Blade HQ. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to be the fastest. Oh no, there's a faster we'll, way. We'll talk about that towards the end of the okay. video. But yeah, these are going to retail like street value, sixty-nine dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good right. price. That's a really good price. That's awesome. This is the same price as the Dukes, which actually I think we brought. There it is. Yep. Yep. Listen. It's got a little bit of its own personality. It does. Let's compare it to the Dukes. Okay, let's Actually, because the Dukes isn't a real big knife. But it makes it look, look at, like I said, it's so little. It's something like 2.8 inches or so, right? That's what she said. 2.6. You're oh. rounding up. I'm definitely rounding up, but you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the box. I got this. Um, yeah, what happened to this box? Thanks for pointing it out. Yeah, okay. it's all you. This is actually thanks to the bug out. <laughs> I was just like, me open box. <laughs> I had to get to it fast. Even though it can completely get opened on here also. What do you mean? You slice the whole side of the box. Well, no, it was, it was um, bubble wrap oh, packaging oh, around it. Yeah. Okay, anyway, okay. anyway, yeah, cool box. <laughs> The Vanguard, it doesn't have, it didn't have the plastic see-through, which I kind of like. This is well, a better look. this is what was kind of cool that was different in here, too. Yeah, show this. I didn't even look at this yet. Yeah, you didn't even pay attention. It came I with the patch. I was looking at the knife. Okay, hold on. You get the patch, apparently. Mm -hmm. C1C Kaiser. That's really cool. Yeah. And then there's usage aid. Look at this. Velcro with the backer. Mm-hmm. So it has new instructions. Ooh, what are the pictures? pictures? Let's see. Let's show the pictures. Sweet. Oh, cool. They're showing you some of the production process. You guys know they use that, um, I forget what that, uh, wire EDM is what they use oh, nice. in their CNC. Yeah. Well, and then it has the nice new Kaiser cloth. Do the Vanguards Wait. always come with the same cloth? Um, yeah, it does. I'll show people that. These cloths are awesome. We You want these just like them. in your gun room, knife room, whatever it is, mm -hmm. your shop, your garage. You want these hanging around. They're, so they're nice So it's kind of neat. It's the new little packaging that it came with. Yeah, we've got this one. You know, we've loved the sheepdog for years. Okay, we brought in some other ones. Well, here, let's get this out of here then. We'll go Vanguard. Full Vanguard series? I have, sorry, I have to flip the Dukes. Okay, go ahead. Ah. Uh, yeah. All right, there's 69 bucks. Yeah. 69 bucks. Frank, I the said bag it letter. Twice. Yeah, yeah. All right, the bag letter, that was, this was the first, oh, come on. What? Smooth. That was you that set it down there like that. You're the one that picked it up like that. Did it damage the knife? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is the bag letter, the very first Kaiser that we got. This started us on the brand. Mm -hmm. um, these are still available. Now you can get these in blue, black. Yep. Colors. Yep. All right, there's, that's 50 something, 52. All that's right. a good deal. Oh, by the way, we're talking VG10 steel. Yes. I'm 99% sure, is that? Yes, that's yeah. what it says on the steel. Okay, hold on. <laughs> the other side. <laughs> Let me just show them. I didn't look that, literally, I've not looked at every detail yet. I assumed well, it was VG10. Yeah. Look at the blue collar for the pivot. I love that. Mm-hmm. Okay, what else we got in the Vanguard? We got the Splinter. Splinter, very cool knife that we always forget about. I know, I do forget about it. That's him. a cool knife. That's He's probably... kind of like a combo between the Dukes and the Big Letter. Yeah, this is probably what, around that 60 to $70, somewhere in there. What else you got? Okay. And then we have the Bad, bad Dog. Yeah, that's the bad dog. That's a recurved Dukes, basically. Same but, designer. This is still like way smaller than them. I want to say this is around the same price. And then the Tangram. Oh, how'd that get in here? Okay. Amarillo. All right, so if you guys have been watching for a while, been paying attention to the knife brands, you'll know that this Vanguard series that's been around for two or three years now, mm -hmm. this was the budget Kaiser series. Well, officially now, the budget Kaisers are the Tangrams. Tangrams. Yeah, so if you're in the um, 30, 35, up to $40 yeah. range. You can get these knives here with the Japanese Akuta 440 steel. This one is wearing a KME edge. That one is awesome. Yeah, um, this one's only like 30 some, not much over $30. Yeah, you cannot beat that. This is a budget version of that, is mm -hmm. what we say. 
But yeah, some of the budget Kaisers, awesome. I love all of these. Look at him. He's yeah. just so adorable. The star of the show. All right, if you're still here this far into the video. We are going to compare it with another kind of sheepish knife. Sheepish? Sheepish. I guess so. Let's set these back here. See, Frankie, that's all you. That is completely all you. That was all you're you. You're the one that can't pick up. Ruining the schmog. Yeah, it's ruined. We must get more. Check it out. There's the lock up. It is a liner lock, steel but clip. This is a comparable knife that we recently got that's kind of similar. Yeah, a uh, different brand anyway. Mm -hmm. We are talking, okay, because of course Kaiser, they make fantastic budget knives as we're showing you. This is a good competitive knife from the Wee Knives Company, but it's, it's well, it's a Wee Knife Company budget design from an independent designer. Yeah. We're talking mm -hmm. Vlad VDK. VDK right. knives. This is the GOAT. You will have seen us recently review this. This one goes for 125 so a little bit more expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Some would consider, I don't know, I, I still think the same buyer for this is going to be the same buyer well, for that. Well, you have to have like a sheepdog collection. Let's, let's, show, let's show the difference in size directly. It makes that one, the goat, look huge. And this is even kind of small. <laughs> I just, like, like I said, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. Here, put your hand down, too. Get as many size references as we can. I got this one out thinking, okay, it's going to be a good comparison, but it's even smaller than that. I know. Interesting. And okay. it's like, look at how they... Yeah, how are they folded? Okay, in every sense, the... Uh, yeah. How much does he weigh? The goat is a little more. And it's it's a chunky too. goat. Okay. Yeah, let's get a couple of these specs here. Okay. Get us zeroed. I do that every time. I'm so every stupid. single time. Okay. 3.15. So just a little over three ounces. Okay. And the goat. 3.75. About a half ounce, a half like ounce said, more. He's a chunky goat now. That's the Dukes. A little lighter. 270. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of blade, though. Yeah. See, that's the thing. It's a small knife, but it's still kind of a lot of blade. I so, just know that I'm going to use that so much. Yeah, that's what I'm That's what I'm talking. Like, somebody who maybe just has smaller hands. You guys, if you want to get your wife or girlfriend a really cool knife, not one of the little pink knives or something, you know, flashy color or something like that. No, mm -hmm. get her something cool. A real full-size knife that's kind of scaled down a little it's bit. It's made just for her. Or, you guys, gentlemen's carry. Uh, yeah. Minimal carry, you know. Cool and low. I mean, with the sheep's foot with blade, it's serious just... cool factor. Yeah. 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 All right. Oh my so God. the fastest way to get one, depending on when you're watching this, we'll have links down to Blade HQ. Mm -hmm. But the fastest way to get one right now is probably going to be on Friday at Blade Show. At Blade Show 2018. Mm -hmm. I got a message into David earlier yeah. from Kaiser. He said it sounded like it's coming down to the wire, <laughs> but it they should have these knives available at blade show yep so so and they get could one while you can i was gonna say this type of knife might be one that sells out pretty quick at this price for what you get yeah th this is this is a winner it might sell out quick that's gonna be so sweet i'm so excited so hopefully they'll have them at blade we'll find out here shortly otherwise yeah, um, do the pre-order at Blade HQ, Yeah, pre-order at Blade HQ. I mean, that's always a good way of doing it. They anyways. ship them out as soon as they get them, um, and you just kind of put $5 your name... $5 down? Yeah, $5 down, you get you get your name in line, and mm -hmm. we've usually gotten stuff pretty quick when they have things on pre-order. Yeah. So, yeah, very cool. Love it. I love them. Yeah, this is a keeper. This, in fact, is another one of those knives where we might even get, like, I don't know, blue or something. Multiples. Multiple colors. Yes, we need to. What do you think, guys? It's a must-have if you already have the full size. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. I just, yeah. So this, cool. Like we say, we'll get some use on it. I mean, this is just not even having used it. This is just oh, impressions. Oh, VG-10 is decent steel, too. We've got a decent amount of experience with yeah. VG-10. We do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kaiser's used that pretty much exclusively in their van... Yeah, yeah. exclusively in their Vanguard line. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, more videos to come on this knife. It's just we wanted to do a, you know, an initial impressions. Yeah. I video. love him. And Frankie loves him. I love him. She'll probably come up with a name for him. Cheapy. <laughs> <laughs> that one's too easy, though. <laughs> Very cool. Well, depending on when you're watching, let us know what you think of yours. But mm -hmm. love it, love it, love it. It's really cool. Very cool. All right. 
from the kind of woods. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.